Our world is soaked with invisible forces which create and control our behavior, our communities, and our world. But can art teach us to see the invisible? The Invisible Sculpture is an augmented reality performance art piece by M. Eiffler. That's me. Most recently exhibited at TED in Vancouver. One at a time, viewers get to see a monumental scale sculpture via a HoloLens. They get to walk around and inside the piece. Originally a small handmade paper sculpture made virtual with photogrammetry and various software, the invisible sculpture was created as a way for an artist, me again, to install monumental sculpture in any art museum without permission. But it grew into a way to give that rule breaking over to audience members in a unique social and embodied moment. Honed as guerrilla performance art at SF MoMA, the invisible sculpture reveals itself only through the body of its current viewer. They walk its perimeter, sit and lie down inside it, and gesture along its surface. Because these movements are not symbolic, this embodied communication is hard to mistrust and the other bodies hanging around begin to believe in the invisible sculpture's presence too. One viewer said after taking the headset off, oh, I still feel it, even though I can't see it. This visceral shadow happens to everyone. Changing the ways bodies move in the art museum or the convention center makes legible not only the bodies of our fellow humans, but the invisible behavioral systems baked into being in those contexts. It could be something as simple as the lingering resistance your body has to walking through a seemingly solid object, even if your mind is telling you it's only virtual. Remember, don't touch the art. Or something more culturally complex, like the stigma against bodies which lie down in public. But the invisible sculpture has a few other unusual traits beyond unruly bodies. One, because the sculpture itself can't be documented by the audience. And be honest, how many pictures of paintings did you take last time you were at the museum? It confounds habit, forcing a presence of moment. Let it sink in now. You can't take it with you. Two, many viewers report its interior as surprisingly soothing, being hidden away inside a completely enclosed yet vaulted space. And three, if a crowd can be generated, the sculpture gains its own space and people cease to walk through it unless they are currently wearing the headset. All the bodies in the crowd carefully skirting its perimeter. With the concepts of race, or money, or nations, humans as a group have the ability to believe in something invisible and give it power and footprint in the world. So we have to be careful about which invisible things we empower. So, would you like to see the invisible sculpture?